The title of this video is Volume, Area, and Surface Area of 2D and 3D Objects. Let's go over a couple of definitions. Surface area is the total area of each face of a three-dimensional object. The surface area of a cube would be found by finding the area, which is A equals the side squared, of one of the six faces of the cube, and then multiplying it by six. For a two-dimensional object like a square, it's just the area of that square. Area and surface area are in square units. So if one of your sides was in centimeters, then your area and or surface area would be in centimeters squared. Volume is the amount of space in a three-dimensional object. It is always in cubic units. For example, the volume of this rectangular prism is found by multiplying the length times the width times the height. Sometimes the width is called the depth. Cubic units means that if this length were in centimeters and the width were in centimeters and the height were in centimeters, that my final answer, my volume would be in centimeters cubed. If each one of these were in inches, for example, then it would be in inches cubed. If it was in meters, it would be in meters cubed. Let's look at some examples. So find the volume of this rectangular prism. Knowing that the uh, formula for volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. We're going to multiply 6 times 2 times 3. We get 12 times 3, which is 36 centimeters cubed. That would be the volume of this particular rectangular prism. How about if we try to find the surface area of this rectangular prism? First, you're going to find the area of each face of the object. In this case, each face is a rectangle. The formula for area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. So, the area of face A and B is going to be 2 times 3 times 2. The area of the face C and E, the bottom and the top, is going to be 2 times 6 times 2. And the area of the other two uh, rectangular faces, D and F, is going to be 2 times 6 times 3. So to find the surface area of this re rectangular prism, we're going to take the areas of each of the faces that we found. As you see here, this is for all from the other slide. And once we do the calculations for each area of each of the faces, then we're just going to add all those areas together and we get 72. And remember that surface area is in square units, so it becomes centimeters squared. Here's another example. This is a two-dimensional figure, so we can find the area, but it has no volume. When you look at this figure, you see that we have two triangles and one rectangle. So we're going to find the area of one of the triangles. Let's call it triangle A. One half the base times the height. And we end up with one half times three times seven, which is 10.5 centimeters squared. Now we find the area of the second triangle. We're going to call that B. Again, same formula, one half base times height. 
for triangle B, the area is 1 half of 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14, and half of that is 7. And again, remember that the units for area and surface area is in square units. So it would be, in this case, centimeters squared. Now that's only part of the area. We still have one piece of this figure that we have to find the area for. We have the area of this triangle and this triangle, but now we need to find the area of this rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So the area of this rectangle that we're going to call C is 5 times 7, which is 35 centimeters squared. Now all we have to do is add all of the areas of each part of this entire figure. So we have the area of triangle A, we have the area of triangle B, and we have the area of the rectangle. We add all of them together, and we get the total area is 52.5 centimeters squared. Here are some formulas that you might want to be familiar with. The area of a trapezoid is 1 half A plus B times H. And the volume of a trapezoidal prism is the area of the trapezoid in the front times the length. That length could also be considered the depth because it goes back. How deep does it go? So we find the area of this trapezoid right here. And then we're going to multiply that times the depth or the length. And that's going to give us the volume. The volume of a cube is an easy one. It's the side cubed. So if this side were 3, what would the volume, so was it 3 centimeters, what would the volume of this cube be? Well, it would be 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. It would be 27 centimeters, if that was centimeters, centimeters cubed. Now let's look at the volume of a rectangular prism. The volume equals length times width times height. So supposing this were 2 meters and this were 4 meters and this, let's call this 3 meters. 2 times 4 is 8, times 3 is 24, and if it was all in centimeters, it would be 24 centimeters, you got it, cubed, because volume is always in cubic units. Again, if this were meters, if each of these were in meters, it would be 24 meters cubed. The volume of a right rectangular pyramid, the formula is A equals one-third of the length times the width times the height. So you see that we have the height here is a line drawn vertically from the center top all the way to the bottom. So that would be the height. Now let's look at the surface area of a cube. Surface area is represented as capital S-A. Surface area of a cube is six times the sides squared. Now that makes sense if you think about it, because there are six sides to a cube. One on top, one on bottom, and then four, one, two, three, and four. So there we have that. Okay, so now we're looking at the surface area of this right rectangular pyramid. And the formula for the uh, surface area, well, there's not really a formula per se. You have to do a couple of different things. First thing you're going to do is you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse C of the right triangle. So we had dropped this vertical in order to uh, 
create a right triangle, that vertical becomes our height. So now we're going to drop this line here to complete that right triangle. And as you can see, this actually becomes the height of this face of the triangle. And that's going to be the same, um, that's going to be the same uh, piece, the same C. That's going to be the same height for this face here, and this face here, and this face here. So we have to find the hypotenuse of this right triangle that's inside there. And in order to do that, we use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so once we have everything, we find the area of the base. The base is this bottom piece right here. If it's a square, it's really easy because if it's square, then you can just do four times this, four times this whole thing here. But if it's not a square, if it's a rectangle, as you see here, then two of these, uh, this face here and the opposite face there are going to be the same. And this face here and this front face here are going to be the same. So it's just a matter of which which is the base and which, which, is, uh, which is the base for each of those faces. So the height is gonna, of each triangle is going to be C. And the base of each triangle face is the length of the smallest side of that triangle. So for this triangle right here, the base is the length. And for this triangle right here, and the one directly across from it, the width is going to be your base. And the triangle that's directly across from this one over here, the base is going to be the length. So it depends. If it's a rectangle, you're going to have to do two of the same formula and if it's a if it is a square you can actually do four times this you'll recognize one half of b times h as the area of a triangle all right that ends this very brief video on surface area area and volume of 2d and 3d figures Enjoy the activity.